Hey guys, take control with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if you're experiencing major battery drain, especially on the iPhone 15, 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, you know, the new 15 lineup app was released. Now, there's been an issue going around, and there are some things you can do to at least prevent the heavy draining to be a little less, although it is a major issue that everyone's been reporting and Apple's working on it to fix it. But you want to follow these steps in order to kind of fix that drain issue and then if not also reduce that battery drain that you may be experiencing. So let's get started. So the very first thing when you're having this issue is to start doing a couple of these things. And the first thing I like to do is simply close out all the apps that I have open. And that's because over time when you have a bunch of apps open, especially older apps, they're running in the process, you know, kind of consuming up the batteries. We want to turn it off. The next thing you want to do is a nice force restart. So how do you do a force restart? You're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then hold this side button until the screen goes completely black. At that point, once you see the Apple logo reappear, we will let go of that button. So I'm going to do volume up, volume down, and then I hold the side button just like that. And I'm not going to power to I'm not going to slide to power off. I'm just going to wait till it shuts itself down while I'm pressing and holding that side button. And then I'm going to wait for the Apple logo to reappear. At that time, I will let go of that button. Now, this method will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be there. But this is a powerful troubleshooting step when it comes to fixing pretty much a lot of software related issue because it shuts down the phone completely and then reloads the code. And once you're back on, you're going to be prompted to enter your password to get back onto your iPhone. Now, the other thing you want to do in terms of updating other things on your phone is if you have a bunch of apps right here, I have a phone with a bunch of apps, right? And I need to update all of them. And the reason why you want to do update is because over time, if you have an older version of the app and you're running on the latest version, those apps also have version compatible for the newer ones. So if it's running an older version, it may not be optimized. So you want to go into your Apple App Store and then you'll go to your account here make sure you're of course signed in and then down here you'll see where there's all these updates available and you can just click on to update all of them as you can see I have 46 apps that need to be updated with the version and that's going to be important that you update it to all the apps like you update your phone in order to make sure they're able to get the best out of it now the next thing you also want to check out is that on your phone right if you have in your settings cellular and if you're a person that uses 5g network which again most people do you might all consider this option for your data so if you go into your data here right under voice and data here you want to ensure that you have 5g auto enable if you have 5g on which is making 5g available all the time it's going to drain your battery so 5g auto is the best option but even better is that if you don't mind the lower speed LTE will save you a lot of battery as well so these two settings are again the one in the middle not the greatest auto and LTE are going to get you the best experience now what other other things can you do to fix this drip battery drain well the next thing you can do is looking at in your iPhones battery here if you go into your settings battery battery health and charging under charging optimization here now it's important under the optimization here that if you are optimizing your battery charging that's great but sometimes you might find that if you if you do the none here your battery will be charged 100 percent to going to recalibrate again and then you'll want to keep it maybe turned off till tomorrow right and then after tomorrow it will automatically go back to optimize or you can leave it to optimize as well kind of to recalibrate your battery so that battery drain again is resolved for you now the next thing you want to do if you're still having issue is that in your settings here under general background app refresh you want to take a look at this list of all these apps that are running in the background now if you have maybe hundreds of apps in the background running all the time of course it's going to consume up your battery much quicker and the reason why this background background app refresh happens is that it's pulling constantly data from the internet sometimes you don't need that because once you open up an app it does another pool themselves instead of constantly pulling new data for the app so i recommend is turning it off completely and you'll notice a big improvement in your battery life overall now the other things to review on your iphone setting is that under your settings here under privacy and security settings location services right 
you want to review apps that are using your locations heavily, right? So you'll notice here, it will list out all the apps that you have that are using it. So if you click on an app, for example, right, usually you never is the best, but you want to do the option either never or while well using the app, but not always. And the reason why not always is that if you do always, it's going to keep on using cellular uh, location services, which relies on GPS. And GPS is one of those sensors that tend to take up a lot of battery power so if you can review the list of location services and limit the ones that you can now the next thing you want to do if you're still having issues with it is that if you have an iphone with the always on feature right if you go into your settings display and brightness and under always on display now this is if you have always on display try turning always on display off i know it's a great feature but sometimes uh, it's not supposed to take up a lot of battery as some but some users have reported that always on seems to drain out their battery a lot more so go ahead and turn that feature off and see if that makes a difference for you and it might make a big difference for you now other things to take a look at in terms of some of the features that you might consider turning off and it's preference based you see these might help is that if you have face ID and passcode set up here right there's a feature for live activities here right you want to turn live activities off and you'll notice a big difference in terms of because it's constantly looking to give you notifications it's going to be one of those things where again turning it off might save you a lot of battery and then the next setting you also want to check out in your settings here under the phone settings is another ios 17 feature called live voicemail so live voicemail basically gives you a transcript of incoming voicemail in real time before you know the answer before you can answer the call so you know what is going on but again if you have a lot of calls coming and they're constantly leaving you leaving you live voicemail that's going to take up a lot of battery so I recommend turning it off and seeing if that makes a difference for you now after you have done all that and you're still having issue it's time to see if Apple released the new update to fix their software and potentially a drain issue as they're constantly working to fix it on the new iOS 17 version so in your settings here you can go to general software update and it's going to check for update and as you can see here currently at the time of recording this video there's iOS 17.1 which is the latest version so you want to go ahead and click on update now when you do update make sure your phone is at least 50 percent or more charged and or connected to a charger and has a strong cellular or Wi-Fi data so you can update it and generally give yourself half an hour to 45 minutes to be able to do the update and hopefully by now your battery drain either is better or gone completely and your phone is back to normal if so please make the like and subscribe but also if you have a tip or trick that help you prevent the battery drain on the new iPhone 15 lineup do let us know in the comment section thanks for watching guys see you guys next time